all these large carnivores sit at the top of a fragile food chain. A web of life that relies on the spectacular setting of their mountain fortress. Where's the big cat got me, Co? They're doggies. sweeps past each summer. <laughs> Dofa will remain home to the greatest diversity of life in Arabia. Where's the big cat? There he is, Miko. <laughs> there are less than 200 Arabian leopards left in the world. Oh. <laughs> They're critically endangered. Thanks, cat. <laughs> and yet, a simple mist is all that's needed to sustain this living ghost <laughs> and everything that lives in these Arabian mountains. Is Tao going? He's never done that before. It's gone! <laughs> Arabia team, one animal above all posed their greatest filming challenge. Deep in the remote mountains of Oman, these animals are notoriously elusive. It's next day, this is good. Hey, Spotting okay. the Arabian wolf in daylight is tricky enough, but it's only after the sun goes down that they hunt. <laughs> He's lit -wake. By braving the Arabian nights, the team got a lot more than they bargained for. It's gone! That noise maker. Cameraman Matteo Willis grew up in the mine, and since an early age has been intrigued by the Arabian wolf. I think we have to make several trips. To find them, he will need the help of biologist Hadi Al Hikmani. Hadi, you got the laptop? Matteo has known Hadi for over twenty years, and between them. They know these mountains extremely well. <laughs> His idea was it to bring so much luggage. And there's one spot Oops. where Hadi's camera <laughs> traps have had a lot of success. Hey! Porcupine. <laughs> Large packs of wolves are known to patrol this canyon. Matteo has a lot to set up before the sun sets. Never done that before. A bird. <laughs> this ledge will be Matteo's bedroom for the foreseeable future. Big egg. He won't be getting no sleep. He's not scratching. He might scratch his. He's just tapping. Matteo has illuminated the tracks with like infrared lights. Like the camera can capture an image. But what are you doing? Is invisible to the wolves. What is it? He's hoping they won't spot him. <laughs> we've had a lot of little remote cameras, and we've got some great stuff. But the problem is they're only at a snapshot of animals. <laughs> the only great about being that clear behind the camera is that for the first time we're hoping that we're going to be able to see some great detail and to reveal a bit more about the baby. So funny. Can't get in the TV, we can. <laughs> Mateo hasn't filmed a thing. Miko! Miko! <laughs> you can't get in the TV, baby! Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Very frustrating. I can hear the wolves, I just can't see them. Our lights are so concentrated. Who is it? The wolves just have to be ten feet to the left or to the right. The wolf face! Behind you, look! <laughs> it's time to head back to the drawing board. To get any footage of these shy animals, <laughs> the team will need a camera that sees much further into the darkness. <laughs> he likes this. <laughs> After 
two months, the crew return with a possible solution. In the last few weeks, Khaled's family have heard wolves howling at night. He suggests that they set up their hide on the edge of his village. He's the wet going. The night crew are now armed with a completely new system. A camera they hope will let them film wolves without the use of any lights at all. Camerawoman Sue Gibson and assistant Dave Mothershaw are the first to try it out. This camera sees heat. On a cold night, warm-blooded animals can be seen up to a mile. Can you see through my clothes? Can you see? Is that why he's facing the other way? Is that why you think so? Ask him. It's incredible. It's amazing. Blue in my screen. Filming so nice. may pass the time in long nights, but three weeks in, and still no wolves. <laughs> One of Arabia's other nocturnal hunters has come to them. Oh, oh, God! I've got one in the bag. He is massive. Massive. What is it? Oh, it's Oh my god. I've been kneeling with it all night. Oh, look at this. The death stalker scorpion is one of the most dangerous animals in Arabia. There he goes. Okay. What's your feet? I'll flip him high. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Here we go. Ready? Oh, Christ. Right. Okay. Pick up. Uh, don't worry about it guys, don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, look at him. Wowee. <laughs> Man, he is off. Look at his feet go. Him. Nocturnal filming is exhausting work. The team rotate, and now it's cameraman Rolf Diamond's turn to take on the challenge. Just outside Khalid's <laughs> village, Rolf is filming the Jabali. While retrieving a stray goat, Khalid spots something in the dust. You see the hyena? Here? Hyena tracks. Hyena tracks, here. You see? It's going this direction. that day, Khalid is going to the other side of the village. He wants the goat now. <laughs> oh, nice. Goodbye, hey. Khaled is sure that the predators will return tonight. Oh, crap. Yeah, Should we put the grudge on now, Miko? When, oh when, will the government finally put cinema-style ratings on pop-up books? <laughs> this should have been a PG. <laughs> Ah, how, oh, here, <laughs> rabbit here, that's it, full of essential oils, and the gear. <laughs> Just time for ladies' night. I'm trying to look at it. It's not enough for that 10 minutes. 